what's up everybody welcome to my channel if you are new here welcome and if you have already subscribed welcome back today guys i'm going to share with you guys the main tip that i follow to have a successful black friday sale if you're interested and want to see this video please keep on watching cooking made easy before we get started, my name is Claude Mott and I'm the owner and founder of Lubungu Seasoning. Lubungu Seasoning is an e-commerce website that I started when I was in grad school where we sell organic green seasoning, organic meat seasoning, or meat seasoning comes in three flavors. We have a regular, a mild, and a spicy. We also have an extreme spicy that we usually make upon request. And right now guys, our meat seasoning is our number one seller around the month of November. Reason why, all of our customers are getting their meat seasoning so that they can season their turkey. So if you're interested and want to try our product, I'll make sure to have the link in the description below. And guys, we also have organic barbecue marinade, organic jerk marinade, organic hot pepper sauce. And during the holiday, we also have organic cremas. And cremas, we also have a gift basket. And the gift basket, we have one bottle of green seasoning, one bottle of meat seasoning, one bottle of the organic marinade one bottle of the jerk marinade and we also have a small bottle of hot pepper sauce if there's someone that you are taking up this holiday and you want to give them a nice gift basket of a seasoning i'll make sure to have the link on the description below all right let's start with our video so guys as now i am getting ready for black friday and I'm going to share with you guys some tips on how to get ready for Black Friday and to make sure you have a successful Black Friday. While I'm working on the jaws, I don't want to be talking over them because I am wearing a mask and my voice will sound very baffled. So I don't want to be talking while I am bottling the seasoning. And also I received a couple questions from my previous videos. I'm going to try to answer them as well in this video as well. And I already have a part one of this series and then part one, I showed you guys how I make my labels, how I make my stickers. And I also showed you guys how I labeled my cremas and bottled them. And I also did some packaging videos in there as well because I received some orders before I recorded that first part. So I added that in there. So if you're interested, please remember to go watch those. And while you're watching them, please support my channel and give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. So when you are preparing your small business or your business or whatever the size of your business for Black Friday, there's a lot of things that you need to consider. But number one is plan your promotion. You need to decide on what deals you're going to have, what discount you are going to offer. And then you also need to set a clear end time. Because when you are creating the buzz, you need your customer to know, hey, you need to sign up for this. Hey, you need to reply to this post or you need to tag a friend to this post. And this is going to be end at midnight. If you don't make the cut of time, then you're not going to be receiving this deal. You need to start promoting every day. You have to start promoting whether you are doing you know some packaging some labeling anything that you are doing for your business even if you are stocking up making boxes record it have a voice over and put it out there on your social media account so your customers and other people can know hey there's something going on and we are getting ready for black friday you need to promote promote and you also have you know to talk about your deals hey for black friday the first 10 people to sign up maybe i'm gonna give you guys free shipping or it's gonna be 50 percent off 40 percent off or you're gonna get a free product or if you refer a friend you're gonna get half of whatever your deal is going to be it's time to start promoting and guys you need to start promoting two months before black friday me i started promoting my black friday sale since september so the way i was doing it is I was posting quick and easy recipe and under my recipe I was saying that hey this is the seasoning that I use to make this recipe and we are gonna have this sale on Black Friday and also I was posting on my stories as well what I did before Black Friday is I let everything on my store run out of stock because I wanted to restock everything so I can have the big sale boom and on top of that my business since it's seasoning around thanksgiving a lot of people gonna need their seasoning for thanksgiving 
so because of that i had to have two sales in one month so i'm having a sale on november 1st where everybody can get their seasoning this is gonna be a 25 percent off with free shipping where everybody can get their seasoning before thanksgiving and after that i'm gonna have a black friday sale where everybody can get their seasoning they can get their gift basket to send to whoever they want and they can get their seasoning for the holidays for the christmas and for the new year so my store is very busy around that time so because of that i am doing a lot of promotion i am posting every day on social media so this is not your number one you need to start promoting to let people know and create the buzz and number two like me especially as a small business what you need to consider is stocking up you need to make sure you have enough inventory so that you can meet the demand when I say to have enough inventory, don't go over stock. That way after Black Friday, you have all this inventory and it's after ho the holidays, you know, people usually try to like, we up their bank account because they've been doing a lot of shopping. Now you have a lot of inventory sitting and nobody's buying them. It is best to have less than more. What I'm saying, it is best to be out of stock hey black friday my store is open for business everybody come and get their thing and i'm out of stock it's great it is best to go out of stock to have less demand than to overstock so you need to plan ahead so what you need to do if you had a black friday last year you need to analyze how many people show up and you also need to analyze how your social media how your feedback has been going because when you're creating the buzz, you're going to have people that's going to say, oh, I can't wait. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for this. Because that's what's been happening for me when I'm posting. I already have people saying that, oh, my God, I just found your account, you know, while I was on social media. I cannot wait to try your product. I'm waiting for the sale. So while you are promoting, you see how everything aligns and how everything is like. It's like a wheelbarrow. Everything has to align. They all work together. So while you're promoting, you're also analyzing how your inventory is going to be. So it's best to have less than to overstock. And another tip is your website performance. Guys, this is very, very important. Please do not wait the day of your sale for people to be messaging you and telling you, oh my God, I cannot check out. This is not working. Oh my God, is this already out of stock? I just got on the website. And then it's you who forgot to put this out on stock or you forgot to, you know, whatever that you need to do, you need to make sure that your website is working. So do some mock-up. Like if you have different card, different credit card, whatever PayPal, whatever you have, Venmo, do some markup go on your website and purchase and see how everything go from starting to ending like when i go on my website i make a purchase do i get an email that say hey thank you you just made this purchase second do i get an email with my tracking that say my order is complete or in between is my card going through you know everything you need to make sure that your website is working and also you need to make sure that your website is optimized because right now in this era where we are living we do everything on our phone people don't really go to computers and do some shopping unless they are at work and they're bored people do their shopping on their phone so make sure your website is phone optimized so that people can have a smooth transaction from smart to finish because study have shows a lot of people that goes to a website and abandon that website and don't make their purchase it's because the, the website was not user friendly if i Go on a website and i'm on my phone and i'm scrolling and it's not user friendly yes i'm going to leave that website and of course you're gonna lose that sale so make sure your website is user friendly and as i mentioned before guys is marketing marketing is key what you can do i know i mentioned that in my previous video you can find people you know who have a you know low follower you know maybe like 10 5 000 if you want in your niche you can reach out to them and say hey i'm getting ready for black friday i want people to learn about my product and i want to send you this so you can try it out and you know you can just give me a shout out or what you can also do is your loyal customer you can reward them you can say hey i know you had made some purchase what about, how about you post whatever you purchase from me on social media and let people know about my business then i'm gonna be reward you on black friday whether i'm giving you a free product whether it's free shipping whether you're gonna be rewarded for the whole year it's up to you on how you want to set it up but you need to make sure you have a marketing strategy and plan and also guys email marketing take advantage of email marketing it's time on your website to have a pop-up so that people can subscribe so that you can keep people in the loop 
because email this is not only where you're gonna create the buzz but this is also how you're gonna let people know what's going on behind the scene and this is also where you're gonna be sharing some tips like when you sign up to my emails i post weekly recipe on my youtube channel so i also post that on my email and let people know oh these are the top three recipes from Robogo seasoning this week and you can make them with this seasoning so take advantage of your email marketing and also social media promotion i know when you're an entrepreneur you're doing everything by yourself take advantage of those websites where you can schedule your posts like i know instagram business and tiktok business and even youtube short you can also schedule your posts and even pinterest allow you to do that as well me i use metrico because i don't have time to be going in each social media account to schedule my posts so i use metrico.com and i know they allow you to do 50 posts a month for free and all of your account that you have in there so what i do i usually take one hour out of my week and i plan what my content is going to be for this week if this week i want to have 10 small packaging videos i do that if i want to have 10 labeling videos with different voiceover if i want to have motivation if i want to have small business tips if i want to have packaging or if i want to have a testimony so i sit down and plan my social media posts and what my content is going to be and that only take me like an hour during my week if you want me to make a video about how i plan my content for the week i'll be more likely to do that because me i use CapCut, i use canva and i use metrical and i also use the app like the tiktok app the instagram app when i'm doing my posting as well so i can do my voiceover so if you want me to make a video about that i'll be more than happy to so yes take time out of your day so you take an hour you already plan what your content is going to be you create your content and now you take another hour out of the week you schedule all your content and now you're good i usually schedule all my content two weeks ahead not only that it also helped me with my analytics because i can go back to my social media and see which post you know did better and then that way i can say okay this post did better so my followers are more likely to engage with this post then i need to create more posts in this type of content so make sure you plan your social media marketing and promotion as well another thing is customer support guys when i tell you you need to be prepared to handle high volume of customers questions when i tell you i have been receiving a lot of questions people are going oh my god things are out of stock i cannot wait when is it gonna be out of stock and it is time people are you know discover you know your website and your social media account so be ready to answer questions because people want to know oh the product what is it good for what is the shelf life of the product do you ship even though i always post that i ship all you know worldwide and all over the us i still receive question about do you ship and i still receive a lot of question about other small business owners that are asking me about my business so customer support be ready and be prepared you know to answer question and on your website set up some chat you know some chat box because on my website if you were to message me and talk to me right away i have a chat box where you can you know message me and the message go directly through my messenger and my instagram as well so be prepared you know to answer customers inquiry because you have something going on that they are interested so make sure that you give them a smooth transaction from start to finish and as i mentioned earlier guys test your website and this is where also you're gonna test your website to make sure that your payment you know payment method they are working up to par use different card use paypal use venmo whatever you have make sure the payment system on your website is working and one thing i know i just mentioned is your analytics yeah make sure you analyze you know your customer behavior like from last year or throughout this whole year what is it that your customers have been buying the most I know sometimes it might be tricky because last year I did that. Last year I'm like, oh, most of my customers got the green seasoning. So I'm going to make sure I stack up on that more. Turn out it was the meat seasoning and the black mushroom seasoning that ended up selling out more. That can be tricky, but you can still have an idea of what your customers are more prone to buy so that you can make sure you have enough in stock another thing guys i know i've been mentioning on when you are creating content 
is you need to build trust with your customers and how you're gonna do that is by posting social media proof post packaging videos so you can show that people are ordering from your website your website is not just shut off you are getting some movement post testimonial people who ordered from you when they you know leave a review on your website you can take a small screenshot of that or however you want to have it post testimonial so people can know that people trust your business and have ordered from you make sure you establish trust with your customers Customers, older customers new customers if you have something new coming up like for example if you have a new packaging method you can just record it and post it on your social media and let your customer know why I decided this new packaging method and whatnot so build trust and post a lot of social media proof customer reviews testimonial packaging like me seasoning like if you are selling spices someone cook with your spices any little snapchat or one thing you can do is when you send an order to a customer you can tell them to unpack their order on camera record it and post it and this you can also use that as social media proof as well and another thing guys i want to give you guys a great tip on is reward your loyal customer give your loyal customer early access to your website if you decide like me for example i'm not going to shut my website off so what i did is my loyal customers they have a special code you know because you know for black friday of course i'm gonna be giving the deal but my loyal customers have a special code so reward your loyal customers if you want to give them early access you can do that or if you want to give them a special code hey that person's been with you since day one you want to give them a code where they have free shipping for the whole year you want to give them a code where they all of their product they can always get one free product of whatever that they choose make sure you reward your loyal customers because they've been with you since day one not only that they are branding people with them as well so make sure reward your loyal customers and guys as i said if you follow all of these steps just sit and relax and also guys one thing that's very important black friday you are getting a lot of orders me personally i have a toddler so when i receive a lot of order i cannot sit and package all of them at once i try to make sure all of my orders are out the door you know within 72 hours but i have a toddler and i cannot sit and package 20 orders when i get off work so i usually do my orders by stack of 10 or stack of 15 so make sure you let your customer know make sure they are in the loop say hey it's black friday i'm receiving a lot of orders i'm a one person behind the scene it's gonna be a little delayed for you to receive your orders and make sure you communicate with your customers and make sure you know there's a way they can track their orders like me on my website when you order from me you have your order number and you have your email you can go on my website to see the status of your order if your order has been processed if it's packaged if it's shipped you can see all of that on my website as well so make sure you keep your customers on the loop of your shipping speed and a day before black friday like i said before do a test run make sure everything is running smoothly i know i've said that multiple times because i remember you know watching you know a girl on youtube who was promoting her black friday and then the day of her black friday her website wasn't working that she forgot to check it out and she ended up losing a lot and she said that was one of the mistakes she learned from and from there i'm like oh this is something i'm gonna learn from too to make sure everything is always running smoothly so always do a test run before black friday so guys if you have following all the tips that i have shared with you you will have a successful black friday i hope you already started promoting because by the time i release this video guys i know it's already late you know with the starting process but still you never know the type of content that you are making you can go on tiktok right now and make one content and it goes viral so don't say that it's too late like for me i you know i think that it's too late for me but don't you know say that oh it's too late i'm not gonna do anything now no you can always start and follow the tip that i have told you promote on social media send your email marketing make sure you build trust with your customer and keep them in the loop reward your loyal customer be transparent behind the scene post what's going on and let your customer know and you just need to sit and relax and enjoy your black friday guys 
I'm just gonna be working behind the scene. I'm gonna have some music over and you're just gonna watch me seal my jaws, put my label on and I'm not gonna be talking because I cannot be talking when I'm doing the seasoning even though I'm wearing mask. It's a safety precaution that I do that I take. I don't talk when I'm you know handling the seasoning. So just watch me behind the scene. Enjoy the video because I'm just gonna be working and have some music and just enjoy the video. All right, guys, I already went ahead and did some quality check in all of them. All the jaws are looking good. They are sealed. They have the nutrition label on them. So now I'm going to put them in the storage fridge. I'm going to end this video right here. My baby is up, so I have to go attend to him. But I have more videos coming up where I'm going to show you guys. It's going to be the same process of how you know i seal the meat seasoning the black mushroom and how i do the labeling and all of that so if you're interested in seeing those other videos please also remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing my small business videos and guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for supporting my channel and i'll see you in the next video bye now Cooking made easy.